A top story at this hour, British lawmakers have ordered Prime Minister Theresa May to demand Europe to reopen negotiations on a hard-fought Brexit deal. Now, May has agreed to return to Brussels to reopen talks even after repeated instances from EU that the exit treaty will not change. Now, lawmakers voted 317 to 301 to the amendment seeking alternative arrangements to replace Irish backstop in Theresa May's Brexit deal. A proposed by influential conservative lawmaker Graham Brady, the amendment also says Parliament would support uh, May's Brexit deal if this change were made. It is now clear that there is a route that can secure a substantial and sustainable, <laughs> substantial and sustainable majority in this House for leaving the EU with a deal. Yeah, yeah. We will now take this mandate forward and seek to obtain legally binding changes to withdrawal agreement that deal with concerns on the backstop while guaranteeing no, hard, no return to a hard border between Northern Ireland and Ireland. Now, MPs also voted in support of an amendment that calls for rejecting no-deal Brexit, but the vote wasn't binding, which implies that the date for Brexit exit from EU remains March 29th. The proposal sends a signal that Parliament as a whole opposes leaving the EU without a negotiated agreement, which will happen by default on March 29th if no alternative is agreed. Economic relationship with the EU. As well as making clear what changes it needs to approve the withdrawal agreement, the House has also reconfirmed its view that it does not want to leave the EU without a withdrawal agreement and future framework. I agree that we should not leave without a deal. However, simply, simply, simply opposing no deal is not enough to stop it. The government will now redouble its efforts to get a deal that this House can support. Now five other amendments which were also voted upon were defeated. These included Labour MPs bid to delay Brexit if May does not get a deal through Parliament. However, the possibility of reopening the withdrawal agreement was ruled out by EU after the vote. A president of the European Union Council, in fact, Donald Tusk, maintained that Brexit deal is not open for renegotiation. The Irish government, too, has rejected any attempt to reopen the Brexit deal. Now, speaking immediately after the vote, Prime Minister Theresa May also acknowledged that renegotiations with Brussels will not be easy. Mr. Speaker, I know that the thought... Now, let's talk about a key part of the Brexit negotiations. It is the border that separates Northern Ireland and the Republic of Ireland. So why is the Irish backstop so crucial? It's an insurance policy in UK, EU Brexit negotiations. Now, it's meant to make sure Irish border remains open. Backstop arrangements was part of draft withdrawal pact, a toughest issue to resolve in Brexit negotiations as well. Now, both Britain and Ireland are EU member states, and after Brexit, Irish border becomes EU external frontier. Now, checks would be required on products coming in and out. Britain, Ireland and the EU have pledged to avoid infrastructure at border. Brexit may lead to officials being stationed at the border, EU's cherished single market may be undermined. British and Irish checkpoints were removed after 1998 accord and a peace accord ended decades of conflict that killed 3,500 people.